Yes? And had a powerful ministry marked by miracles and God's in intervention. Hello? I said, Elisha had a powerful ministry that was marked by miracles and God's intervention. Are you there, everybody? Yes. Because you can see it uh, happening at the very beginning after the transition of Elijah. Come on, somebody. And the mantle fell, Bishop Pinnock. You saw that he picked up the mantle. And in order to go back across the Jordan, he could not rely or depend on Elijah's miracle or test and prove if he was really called to ministry or he was just trying to use somebody else's. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Hello? Amen. Hello? And Amen. in fact, that was test and proven that Elijah was called. Because when Elisha got to River Jordan, come on, somebody. The, the, the way how Elijah crossed over was not the same miracle or same way. That way it, it calls for different. Hallelujah, oh, Jesus. Somebody help me here. And so, brothers and sisters, at this time, Israel was in conflict with Syria. Hello? Or Aram. The Syrian king was frustrated. Are you there? Because his military plans against Israel were being foiled repeatedly. Come on, somebody. So every time they plan to attack Israel, come on, somebody, Israel would have known. I got the glimpse before it was even put into motion. So even at the very planning, come on, somebody, oh, something happened. The plans were thwarted. Come on, somebody. Are you there? Take your time at this juncture. So through divine revelation, Elisha informed the king. Watch this. Through divine revelation, Elisha would inform the king of Israel of Syrians' movements leading to their plans being thwarted. Come on, somebody. Are you there? Mm -hmm. So when you look at it, we have to understand this. And you know that's how I preach. I mean here in March, you know how I preach. Because when you look at the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will reveal some things using prophets, discerners, come on somebody. Hello? And the Holy Spirit will talk through us. But then there are other times when others will have to come and say, Sister Taisha, this is happening. And you don't get up and behave and shake and say, the spirit tell them. And the spirit tell them, say, I can't hear what tell them. No, that's what I preach practically. I, I, I don't matter with the foolishness. Come on, so, so in this case, the spirit of the Lord revealed to Elisha what was being plotted. Come on, somebody. By the king of Syria against Israel. And so as it has been revealed to him, he would say to the king in Israel, watch this. So when you go to 1 Corinthians chapter 1, it tells us that the apostle Paul said to the brethren, he said, listen, I am being told by someone from the house of Chloe that there are disputes and bangerangs among you down there in Corinth. You see, I'm not going to behave like his spirit, tell me. Somebody from among you, by the name of God, tell me that you're not living good. There's conflict and contention down here, and I want you to stop it. So Paul didn't go down like a spirit and shake. Paul said, somebody from among you, tell me. It's somebody tell me, and the name is somebody from the house of Chloe. Oh, yeah. Go read First Corinthians chapter one, and you see it. Hello. So when the Spirit reveals it to us, it's a Spirit. But when it's somebody tells us, stop behaving like we have more Spirit than anointing. When it's somebody tells us, oh, nothing is wrong, Bishop. Oh. Nothing is wrong with that. And that is why 
my council board, they don't need to see yourself as who wants to see you as news carrier. Nothing no wrong with that. That's why you're up here. Because there are some things that you'll have to tell Bishop, and there are some things that no one is going to tell him. So they don't want to be seen as news carrier. So Bishop, take my position. Because that's why we're here. The council board is to counsel the pastor and advise and say, Pastor, listen, you can be right now walk with this week. You can sit down and check. You sit down and um, be chased. And you must stagger. You don't like how we do. So you go call me, come here. I say, me, come here. Right. You say, um, you're at BJ's and um, Deacon Nick told me that you're staggering. Is it true? Right there and then, I'm going to go for Deacon Nick and say, oh, thou shalt not drink wine, the spirit of the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> and you start a 90 man joke, bro. I'm going to go to Say, brother, if you are consuming too much, and it is going to defile you and deceive you. Don't do it. And your own brother, Brother Nick, was kind of disappointed in the way how he saw you. So we want to, right there and then, he's going to say, if he's honest, then he's going to say, Bishop. But when you go in the spirit, and I believe you may just disown it. And when you go after, you try to behave like it's the spirit and say, no, it wasn't the spirit, it was deep. He's got to find out and say, you're not. You're not genuine in the past. You try to use spirit on me. You know it's not spirit. It's one of your armor bearer. Tell you you try. That's why we have to maintain our integrity and we must be transparent as leaders in the church. I'm talking to the church of God here. And so... Elisha was that man whom God appointed. And watch this. We love how things set in those days. And we trust that things would remain. And would just. The king's duties in those days was for legislative matters. Was to deal with the legislators and the judiciary matters. In terms of judiciary and all of that. Forming laws and all matters. On somebody. So the king in Israel relied heavily on Elisha when it comes on to spiritual matters. Hello? Are you there, everybody? Yes. Oh, somebody said, Pastor, what are you talking about? Let's go Bible. He said that there was a king. There was a time when there was a planned invasion. And King Jehoshaphat called the people to a time of prayer and fasting. And he called the nation, he said, listen me man, this kind, this attack that is coming upon us, go and read the book of Chronicles. It is not mere, it is not, it is not light. We need intervention from God. And when he called the people to that attention, God didn't talk to him, although he was the one who called the people. God found a prophet, named Jehaziel. In the midst, and he stood up and he said, Oh, king, what you have done is quite in order. The Lord says to tell you, Be not afraid of this battle. Stand still and watch me work. Somebody praise Almighty God. And still, we have it also in this text that the king of Israel relied on Elisha to inform him as to what was happening in the spirit. 